this? Yeah, I guess so. Um, in some sort of way, I mean, obviously, different team, completely different series and um, stuff like that. But, um, you know, I guess it just obviously goes show we're not out of the fight. We're going to take this one game at a time like we've talked about and, um, you know, just focus about tomorrow. And it seems like through the second half of the season, all the way through these playoffs, regardless of the situation, you guys have kept a real good confidence. How would you assess just the, the mood of the room here? And it seems like everybody still feels pretty good, feels pretty confident. Yeah, no, we still feel good. We still feel like we obviously just believe in ourselves. We've been doing that for a while now. And, um, you know, every guy uh, knows every guy beside them is battling. And, um, you know, we're obviously going to put our best for effort forward tomorrow and, um, you know, see where uh, see where it falls. And, um, you know, like I said, I just think every guy's just got a lot of confidence in each other and a lot of confidence in what we do as a group. So um, we're just going to put that uh, together tomorrow. Obviously, a lot of vocal guys in this room. But for games like this, do the voices get louder? Does the the mood in the room change any more kind of raw rawness? Um, no, I mean, obviously, we try to keep it pretty similar to, uh, you know, what we've been doing and, um, you know, what's gave us success to get to this point. So, um, you know, we just try not to change too much, try not to um, overthink it or anything, just go out and play. Outside of game two, all these games have been really, really tight. You guys have won a lot of tight games in these playoffs. In this series, what do you think is the biggest difference towards, you know, switching the pendulum there? Yeah, um, you know, Bobby's done a great job at shutting the door, and he's made some huge key saves for us coming down the stretch. And, um, you know, we just want to kind of get, get a few more pucks to the net, see if we can get some more traffic. And, um, you know, like I said, um, you know, we know Bobby's shutting the door for us back there every game and always giving us a chance to win. So, um, you know, obviously up front and, um, you know, we want to try to get a little bit more going. This time of year, a lot of guys are always banged up. <clears throat> obviously, no Matthew out there. Hopefully he'll play for you guys tomorrow. But are you guys prepared to play without him and feeling confident still? Um, you, you know, we're, we're just we have confidence in whoever's in our lineup at every any given moment. Um, you know, we've kind of just had that next man up mentality no matter what. And um, you know, it's uh, you know Matthew's a big leader for us, and um, you know, so hopefully he'll be uh, ready to go tomorrow. And, and in regards to playing here in games one and two, you guys have some lessons learned. Obviously, a pretty raucous crowd and building to play in, but. Uh, you guys feeling more comfortable now that you've done it a couple of times? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, we've uh, we've been road warriors all playoffs. So, um, you know, like I said, it doesn't at this at this stage and at this point in the playoffs, it doesn't really matter where you're playing. You know, we're going to, um, you know, like I said, give it our all. And, um, you know, we plan on uh, having our best game of the series tomorrow. Grover Denisenko out there with you guys today. Just how fun is it going to bring fresh face in here at this time of the season? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, we've had, uh, you know, other guys that have been grinding for a while back in Florida and, um, you know, I'm it's great to have him here. Great, uh, I'm sure it's a lot of fun for him, um, obviously as well to uh, to be out here. So yeah, it's great. Uh, it brings a lot of fresh energy, like you said, for sure. So it was a lot of fun. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.